I will show today how to run C program on Windows without using Microsoft Visual Studio. Uh, the easiest way, uh, and it will not cost you anything, any money actually, is to download Eclipse IDE for C and C++ developers. This package you can find it in Eclipse uh, website. So it depends on uh, your computer whether you can download 32-bit version or 64-bit version. So once you click download here, it pops up and you can save it then uh, it comes in a zip file where basically you need to unzip it and it's immediately you can run it. Another thing you need to do is to download uh, Sigwin which is a Unix uh, like uh, version for Windows and uh, Sigwin provides Sigwin C uh, GCC compiler which is used actually to run C and C++ uh, programs on Windows. Uh, so if we open the Sigwin So now let me check. Uh, so now we have. Uh, I have actually installed already installed the Eclipse CPP uh, version. Uh, so basically, I'm gonna use it direct. So let's go to Eclipse and Eclipse. Now let me open. Yeah, so now you open a workspace. okay so let me just close these two things okay So as you can see now, we are in the, we opened Eclipse. And there is a welcome page here. It shows, it allows you actually to uh, dig deep and to uh, read more about how to use uh, Eclipse in developing C language and C++. So there is overview, there is some samples and tutorials. Also like if you see here there is a, a, a it's called perspective uh, in our here in our case actually we use C, C++ perspective. Let's, so let's start uh, we go for new open a new project and this called hello world It's empty project and we use Sigwin GCC compiler. So we can use, uh, you have different version you can select for us. We can use, for example, the release. Uh, you can use any one of them actually, but let's use the release version. So now here we have the project and there are different libraries has been included this is by default and if you click here 
in the in the project properties you can actually click to in the GC, uh, build settings and actually here you can include any libraries you want depends on and here you can include them actually based on their physical path and as you can see this is for the linker same thing actually right there so you can actually add libraries based like based on on their location physical location and here you can see the library path and uh, the source location so we i'm not going to do any add any library right now so i'll go for hello world and I'll create a new folder call it source and in this source folder we create and a source file we call it hello world dot c so if you see that like you need to define the type of the file if you didn't define it you will get the message uh, that file system is discouraged file extension does not correspond to non source file type so basically it's dot c finish okay so now here like at the top there is comments you can add any comments you want it's basically you have you can either do it for line uh, one line by having uh, two backslashes or you can if you have multiple lines you can have something like backslash star and end it into another backslash star <coughs> okay so let's start let's create a function it's a void so it doesn't return anything and I'll call it print greeting and I have I need to enter a uh, a string so it's uh, a pointer of characters into like function co I call it var okay so within this function I need to print f and uh, I need to say hello For in order to print a character, we use s percent s, the percent s, and comma, and then we define the var. So this is basically says print, uh, print uh, the, the 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 string hello, and uh, the var, which where you gonna enter the value and it, uh, the representation or the format for the ca the uh, the, uh, the string of characters or the point of characters is percent s. Now let's go to the main it's void main. Don't have any parameters, so just I'm gonna print. I'm gonna say print greeting. Print greeting comma and I'm gonna say so what's the 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 var is gonna be word so I'm done so now I need to compile sorry build the project so if I I can build it from here so now it's building okay so if you see this is the the, f the folder which has a release package it contains a, a source file in a d format an object and this is actually the uh, make for a uh, subfolder and there's make file if we open it it will sh show you the 
how actually this is done automatically so you don't need to worry about it it's basically actually shows how you, uh, you how you how the program uh, run, execute the or compile the project so now it's ready to run so right click and run as local C C++ application so I can see now so okay so this is the output so it's hello world if I'm going to change it for example to say hello Canada I need to rebuild it again or actually basically you can run it direct and it automatically will build again and it will show hello Canada so this is the simple uh, program you can do in C, uh, in C language using uh, based on Eclipse environment probably you need to have also another folder for the headers for future work so you can create a header for example a uh, subfolder and this subfolder will contain header file and it will be called uh, hello world which is similar to the dot c folder so basically this is the header of of hello world and this is the header and we then we include the signature of that function and we put it in the header put it here as you can see like there is some uh, this is uh, these two lines is automatically created so you don't need to worry about it so just do it like this and we then in the in the C folder we define it here so we can say include hello world dot h so we are done build clean let's clean it now build the project it's compiled there is oh there is one error what it says here there is no oh yeah so we need to have dot dot header the subfolder and that's it should be like this build yes now if we run it again hello Canada that's it thank you